Hopefully you guys did like that tiny little video, but today we are taking a look at the Halloween Kills uh, Halloween costume that I cooked up, but didn't wear for Halloween, but I decided to wear it now, and because I did put a pretty decent amount of work into it, it's definitely not the best. I mean, there's plenty of other people who have done so much better than what I did, but this is kind of like my own little mashup, so I'm pretty proud of it so far. So. I wanted to just take a look at the actual mask itself and also just kind of the stuff that I used in case you wanted to make your own, uh, maybe next Halloween or just randomly. Um, but the mask that I used was the Trick or Treat Studios um, Halloween Ends mask because I did like that mask and that was kind of like the only one they had at the Halloween store. But it does look really nice. I do really do like the way it looks. So I had to just go in and repaint this thing. And how I repainted it was very simple. I pretty much started off with just trying to take off these stupid cobwebs, which took a while. If you want an in-depth process on how I did that, definitely go to uh, Cosplay Chris. Because he's definitely got like way better... Uh, way to explain this type of thing but after getting the cobwebs off after spraying whatever chemicals i did to scrub it all out with a sponge i then had to repaint the entire face because the white just doesn't look right to me but then i started off with just doing a brown and then i started mixing in the whites and i got to a certain decent point but i didn't really care for it that much really so then I had to redo the entire mask and I didn't really like the blood stain. I didn't like the burn marks that I did. So I completely redid the entire white and I really did like how it came out. It looks so much different than the one I did before. And then I had to do it, of course, on the other side as well before I can get all the burn marks just to kind of match it up, I guess. And that leads us to adding in the burn marks. And I think it turned out really good. I am very proud with uh, how the paint job went. There it is. I am very proud of how this looks, especially this side. I really do like the way this side looks. And this whole burn side looks, that looks good. Also, I did have to uh, chop off my two fingers to get this look, so I guess I'm calling in today. But yeah, I all I did with my hand was I just went to Walmart and I grabbed some of this stuff. And this is just, you know, basic cotton uh, wrappings and all I did was just wrap it around my hand put some paint on there and called it good and now I have the look I would suggest probably weathering it a little bit more but you can just say that he just freshly bandaged it a little bit I also did have to dirty up my hands just a tiny bit nothing drastic I didn't want to get you know, too disgusting but um, yeah, I, I did have to, especially this hand, this hand I wanted it to be a little bit more dirty. Uh, but basically what I used for that is just watered down uh, uh, acrylic paint. And for the blood, I go for my go-to um, paint, which is this little thing, which I've had for years now. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And for the overalls, I actually bought these online at like a men's overall place. I don't know where I got it from, but I thought they looked pretty cool. And I... It looks decent enough, I think. It's nothing crazy, but it's not bad. I've never worn uh, some overalls before, so that's pretty cool. But I did um, have to weather it up a lot, so you can see some slashes here. I have a bullet hole here, and I think one right here, I think. Um, I do have some in the back, too, if you can kind of see that. Don't know if you can or not, but there's like a pitchfork thing there, another bullet hole, and then I have this entire side um, burned, so that's pretty cool. With a couple parts like uh, burned like entirely, so it's pretty cool. There's a pretty cool look, and um, yeah, I am very happy with how this entire outfit came together. And of course, last year I refurbished the Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, 2003 Leatherface masks. So now I have two of my favorite designs right here. So now I have two Trick or Treat Studios masks and they both look really, really cool. I'm very happy with uh, how this one came out. I might go back and do a lighter uh, coat with like an actual skin tone just a little bit more because um, this is just basically all gray. So I don't know, maybe I might do something with you. Um, but in terms of this mask, I think this mask is completely done 
And yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you everything. I also do have a knife too, which I just bought from Spirit Halloween, like when Spirit Halloween was out for Halloween. And it's this knife. I thought this was really cool. I did redo the coloring because the entire blade was completely black. So I just repainted that entire thing and uh, yeah, just kind of worked it out from there. I think this part was black too. I don't remember. I actually don't remember, but I did just have to redo the entire thing, but I did keep the blood too. I did keep that. So that has not changed. But other than that, that's basically what we have here. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, little costume sneak peek. And um, yeah, this is definitely, I would love to get a life size like mannequin to put all this on because it would be really cool to put this entire outfit on display for everyone to see because um, it is pretty cool but uh yeah i'm taking this off because my hand is kind of hurting now and uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did like this video leave a like and subscribe if you don't then that's totally fine but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video i'll see you guys on monday for our uh, review for that day. I believe that review is going to be Godzilla related. It's not going to be a Godzilla figure, which actually sucks because Godzilla's 70th anniversary is today. And um, I will be making a video for Monday for it. Uh, but I don't have any Godzilla, video Godzilla figures to review. I pretty much reviewed everybody up here except for two that you can kind of see right here, which we will be reviewing uh, within this month. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.